Alright guys, here's our next project. We're cleaning up this pen area. We moved everything out that we could um, that was movable. We are going to take down the old composting. This is a little bit too heavy, the quail, but we may just leave it there. No, I'm going to move it too. Well, eventually we will. But we're going to get all these weeds down. We cleaned up the banana trees, and then after we weed eat, we are going to sit down on our butts and dig up some potatoes. Purple sweet potatoes. So, here we go. guys got it all cleaned up except for where the tomato or the uh, potatoes are and then we decided to go ahead and leave the compost pile here we're just gonna let all those weeds break down and those Everglades tomatoes now you get to sit in the Sun and do this <laughs> All of these. I picked out a few of them already real quick. Yeah, we found a few already pushed up through the ground. Check this out, man. Hold on. There's this one I found. There's another one there. And you got, where'd you pick it up? Oh, wow. Them around there. There's a couple orange ones too. Oh, hey. They might be a mix of both. So, we're going to go ahead and start digging. And then we're going to show you guys the end results of everything. Here we go. All right, what I'm doing is I'm just pulling this, some of this back a little bit. And there's our potatoes just like that. They're just... Now, are you going to leave that little one right there? Yeah, the, these, I'm leaving the vines because they'll grow and give us more potatoes. So I'm you're just, just going to dig around the banana plants for right now? Yeah. Oh, look, here's another one. They're easy to find. Nice. Yeah, because they're pretty much at the top. These yeah. can be cool. Awesome. Yeah, I'll just write. Here's another one. Just kind of like run your hands and then you can find them pretty easy. And they're nice and big too. Now yeah. we did this what back in the fall? Yeah. Like September, October. Yep. So September, October, these purple sweet potatoes got about that big. And uh, we'll probably leave these here for the summer and then we'll pick them again in the winter or in the fall, I should say. Yeah. All right. All right. Time to get our hands dirty. All right, guys, here's what we did. Everywhere we trampled, we got a ton of potatoes. And we got all the way up to this banana tree here. The vines started getting really super thin and small. And all over here, there's small vines. So these are not ready yet because you want to look for vines that are like this nice and thick and that's where the potatoes are going to grow a lot of these vines here are going to be kind of skinny you know about that size they're not ready to produce the potatoes yet so take it back over here to the cart we have a ton of potatoes this cart is full of potatoes. We did find a few yellow potato or like sweet regular sweet potatoes, yeah, but we have more purple potatoes than anything else. So our next step is 
we're going to just dust them off as best as we can you do not want to wash we are going to put them into one of our wicker baskets or a couple of wicker baskets this might take like two or three and uh, we're going to put them in our shed for about five days to let them uh, sweeten up and then uh, we're going to have ourselves some sweet potato fries can some more sweet potatoes I actually thinking about tubing some and freezing them so oh that we yeah can we just, could freeze them yeah that's a good idea so i can just take them right out dump them into the fryer and have sweet potato fries all right guys as you know here's our harvest and we place our potatoes in um we, um what are these like uh apple baskets i yeah, guess they were basket. ha harvest baskets um only because if there's any type of moisture why they're staying in our shed for about five days we let them stay in the shed to sweeten up but um this will prevent the moisture from collecting at the bottom you know you don't want to use you know anything like tupperware um because that just won't let the air flow but you want to take these potatoes and let them sit in the heat and humidity of a closed area for about five days. And you want to knock the sand off. And so Donald, yeah, we just knock the sand off. You don't want to wash them. So this is what we're going to be doing the next couple of uh, minutes here. Obviously, we have a lot of potatoes. A pretty good harvest for yeah. our second harvest not bad at all see how some of this soil is wet yeah i'm going to knock that off that's why as we best use as we can yeah that's why we use the wicker basket so that's going to dry it's not just going to sit on there yeah and so we're going to go ahead and fill them up and then we're going to show you what we have and uh, get them loaded all right guys Here's the end results. This bucket and that bucket is going to go in the shed for the next five days. And then this one here are going to be our starts because we want to plant more of these. So we're going to go ahead and put these in little um, a little box with some soil and get starts growing so we can uh, then transplant the starts. But that's all we have for right now. So... In about five days, we'll then uh, wash them up, and then uh, we're going to be having some taste tests with different things for you guys. Well, guys, the uh, sweet potatoes have been in the shed for five days. We've taken them out, and we are taking the brush, knocking the excess sand off. And then we'll be putting them in our spare room in a nice dark spot. It's cool. And we'll have, oops, I hope that one escapes. We'll have sweet potatoes for a while. These sweet potatoes will last us probably six months.